What is up, everybody? I don't have a moto vlog today, but I do have an unboxing. Got the Coleman CT200U, and today I'm going to do a little unboxing, assembly, and uh, review. So uh, there's Black Betty. That's another project. That's a go kart that my brother bought for the kids. Let's get to it. I haven't even uh, opened it up yet, so we're gonna cut her open and see what's inside. I should just lift up. There we go. All right, look at that. All right, so we just got some filler in there. Here she is. Pull off some of this plastic. And uh, I've already named her. For anybody that uh, that's wondering, her name's a little red. This is the 200U, so it's the uh, 200cc or the 196 or whatever cc. Uh, no torque converter, just the jack shaft setup with the cover on it. Eventually, we'll uh, do some upgrades, but manufactured by Chongqing Hong Hong Science and Technology Industrial Company Limited. All right, that's reassuring. <laughs> Let's see, we got a big old wire tie here. All right. There's the forks. I still haven't found any instructions yet. I don't know if it came with instructions. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's the instructions right there. All oh, even comes with a little toolkit. Look at that. Maybe I didn't need all mine. See what uh, see what it came with wrenches. All right, all right. What we got here some cheap Y N K. I think I don't know. Anybody read that? Does that says Y N K Y N X maybe? I don't know. All right, so we got uh, an eight mil, a ten mil. Not bad. 17 and a 19, a 13 and a 16, a 19 and a 17, all right, so there's two 1917s, and a 12 and a 14. So it's all metric, that confirms everything was made in China. <laughs> we got, this is our front fender here, we'll put that to the side, keep that nice yet. I'm gonna put it over here with Black Betty. And we got a bunch of hardware, some zip ties, and owner's manual. And what else? Is that a warranty or assembly pre-ride inspection? All right, so we'll reference that. Just to make sure we're not doing anything wrong. Because I only want to put this thing together once. To the owner, congratulations on your purchase of a Coleman Power Sports off-road mini bike. Hell yeah! Oh, does this have that uh, California emissions? Ooh, it doesn't. Sweet, thank God. All right. Wow. They want you in full gear, huh? Well, maybe I'll put on a helmet when I do an engine swap. All right, yeah, I don't need that anymore. We'll put that down here to the side. We got our hardware, our zip ties, our assembly instructions. Look at that, all right. So, everything's pretty much straightforward, but I do want to check orientation of certain washers and whatnot for the assembly here, so. That'll be for the front wheel and for the forks there. 
a small one on top and a large one on the bottom. That's what it wants. And then another large washer on the very bottom. Alright. Alright, let's get to it. So, the forks are going to go on this way, obviously, but, ooh, look at that, that's healthy, what's that on? Oh, that's a throttle, nice, okay. Fun. Yep, this is fun. <laughs> there we go. All right, so that's like that. Now that says, Wow. That's weird. Huh. And a large one on the bottom. So the large one is definitely not enough. However, it appears that both large ones will work. All right, so let's slip that booger out of there. and slip these boogers in here. And pop it back in the hole. Where are you at? Can't find a hole here. There we go. Here's a hole. Alright. There you go. I'll just uh, put that one there. Why not? Alright. So we'll go grab them uh, the Chinese wrenches and whatnot. Okay. All right, so who wants to guess what size these are? They appear to be 17s. Ha ha. More like a 16, but whatever. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so that's definitely not a 17. 16. Nope. That's a 16. Okay. So we got a 16 and a 14, maybe? There we go. 16 and 14. For the for the tree. Alright, so it's kind of some poor routing there, but whatever. Alright, cool. Got the forks on. Pretty simple, two washers, one on either side. Now's the fun part, cause the mini bike is sitting on the tire and I gotta get it off and put the tire on. Huh, so let's see here, what can I do? Get these wrenches out of the way. Maybe I can like pop it on air or something. Maybe. Let's find out. A terrible idea. 
okay it's kind of on there so <laughs> ay, ay, ay. all right let's see if the wheel will fit all around the outside all right that'll work which side is our valve stem on that side so we'll put this one on the same side for easier access all right so it looks like we're just about at the right height here pop this bad boy in place Fit this other washer in here. Look at that. Perfect. Now these are definitely going to be, well, this one's definitely the 19. This one might be the 17. Yep, that's 17. Yep, that's 19. All right. Let's get it. There we go. Not too shabby. How many notices do they have to put on an engine for somebody to realize that they didn't ship it without oil? <laughs> All right. Nice, nice. Okay, I guess. <laughs> Made in China. Heck yeah. <sighs> Let's put this fender on now, shall we? Oh man, look at that. So beautiful. <laughs> All right, so we got four bolts, four nuts, and two washers. We have a fender and a front rack. Let's see where they want us to put the washers at. Here we go, right here. Front rack and fender installation. Attach the front rack to the steering column assembly using eight millimeter by 20 millimeter bolts and eight millimeter nuts. So the rack goes there and it looks like the large washers go on the bottom of the fender. All right, that answers that. So, Not supposed to go like that. All right. Am I right? Looks legit. All right, let's get some hardware. Two bolts and two nuts. I'm not going to tighten them down just yet. I'm going to get everything in place and tighten it all down together. This way everything is happy and comfortable. Comfort table. Let me make sure we put our fender on right. Alright. And bolts go through the top. There and there.
This is where it'd be useful if I had another two or three hands. <laughs> I am oh so carefully winning. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a win. All right, put this other washer up in here. nice and tight. Let's make sure all of our other hardware is on here pretty tight. Make sure our engine's on there solid. It's going to be hauling my ass around. <laughs> uh. Oh! <laughs> wow, it's a good thing to check that. Let's get them tightened up. What size we got underneath here? A 10, really? Wow. This is sad. This is really sad. Uh, whatever. Those are some nice meaty bearings though. I like that. Get our cover on here. All right, so that's how that goes. Just like that. So these are gonna be like a big rattle thing. Oh, hi, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Hi, puppies. That's the landlord's dog. Everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna tidy this up here. This is our little oil pan here. Does wonders. And looks like we got 10 mil. Pop that baby loose. Oh! Nah, I figured that was gonna happen. We got there, 12. Ooh, maybe a 14. Yep. 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 Make sure that's in there good. Oh man. <laughs> it was tight. Alright. Oh, there's still some in there. I'm gonna flush it out with a little oil. So got this funnel. Got some rags here. And I got my oil. Yeah, I know it's high mileage, but whatever. I figured it worked better in this Chinese engines. Little little higher tolerances maybe it'll be more like a Honda then <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that valve open and I'm gonna use some of this fresh oil to flush some of that stuff out just because it's assembly oil and we don't know how good it is and we don't want to find out the hard way how bad it is stuff's all nasty so I got two quarts here this way I can run it all put a couple hours on it and then change it out for some more fresh stuff keep it running nice and clean this way it'll last as long as I need it to Eventually, I'll probably throw a Predator on it, probably a 212. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out, but that's all to come. 
All right, guys, so we're down here to a slight drip, so I'm confident enough in saying that all that stuff is gone. Good. And pop it back in. that nice and snug all right now we can put some oil in her mm, that should bring her about right looks like we might have a little leakage here let's put this underneath just in case Yep, just a little bit. That'll be alright. She's a little to the right, so. Tighten this puppy up. Get her funnel to finish draining back into the bottle. Pull this out, give her a little wipe, and we're golden. All right, she's ready for some fuel and some fire. Here's the fuel. She's gotta make the fire. I'm making a mess here. <laughs> All right, that should be plenty. Make sure that's snug. Seat cover off. Yeah. Right. Let's fire her up. Choke on. Fuel on. Oh man. I keep reaching for a rear brake. <laughs> Alright, so the brake can be tightened up a little bit, but uh, all in all, not too bad. <laughs> now just keep in mind this thing's rated for people up to 200 pounds and I can tell you right now I'm well over 200 but even then not bad getting a good review from me <laughs> alrighty so that's it for this time muffler's cooking off some of the fresh paint there 
but uh, more is to come with Black Betty. Got some more parts in, some more stuff to do with her. And uh, got another little project here. We're going to dig into that at some point. Might start throwing some of that onto the vlog. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. That's it for today. Thanks everybody for tuning in. If you've watched this far, thank you. Leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button so you're notified when my next video comes out. Until next time, peace.